see that? I didn't have the courage to make that a few weeks ago. Let me explain. So if you've been following the channel, if you've been following me for a while, you may know that I'm on a journey to create my own comic series, animated series, and even my own animation studio. So I'm always looking for ways to get good at art and animation. But uh, I kind of fell into the trap of only doing art and animation studies without producing anything original, which eventually led me to burning out and crashing. I would spend weeks just toiling with these simple, boring exercises like making a ball bounce, making a cube turn, making this weird tail thing. Now, now I'm not saying that stuff isn't important, but man, when you're copying a tutorial or copying a reference day in and day out, it gets kind of boring. Like I was bored out of my mind. And because I started getting bored with doing the animation exercises, I just neglected to do them entirely for weeks on end. I just dreaded the thought of sitting down for two hours to do another animation exercise that nobody would pay attention to anyways when I posted on social media. Nor would it be something that I actually enjoy doing. And if somebody told you that I eventually got over this hump and mustered up the willpower and the motivation to actually finish these exercises, Somebody lied. Like, like, take a look at this list. I, I made this animation exercise list like two months ago. I, I still haven't finished it. I had to do something. I, I couldn't just stop learning animation entirely because I got goals to reach. So fast forward a couple weeks of procrastination, I finally came to the uh, solution of learning and applying knowledge. Which is just a fancy schmancy way of saying I finally started doing my own animation projects rather than following a tutorial from beginning to end. Instead of doing that, I kind of tweaked the info in the tutorial to fit my needs. And I have to say, it's... It's kind of one of the best decisions I ever made. And as a result of me doing that, I made that little animation you saw at the beginning of the uh, the video here. I think one of the greatest benefits of taking a break from the studies a little bit and actually starting up your own project is that it forces you to actually learn new things. Just to give you a few examples, I didn't know how to import sound into my animation software, so I had to do some research and figure out how to do that. I also didn't know how to get the cartoon version of me to swipe his thumb over the, the meme footage I added to this thing. That's why I learned I could cut out or rotoscope certain sections of my animation using After Effects. And not only did I learn new things about the software I was using, but I was able to put my animation skills to a legit test, which is kind of what I did when I was drawing the swiping action in the uh, the animation. And call me crazy, but it seems like the information just sticks a whole lot better because what you're doing is personal and you need to learn how to do it in order to actually finish your project. And if you don't actually apply whatever you're learning, then you, you can't finish the project. So uh, if the solution was as simple as just do it then why didn't i start making my own animation projects from the jump like i mentioned before at the beginning of this video i think one of the main reasons why i decided not to create something original and i just stuck to the studies was fear i actually started believing that i wasn't ready to start making anything on my own i thought it wasn't good enough if i just finished the bouncing ball exercise for the 100th time or if i just finished this dang animation exercise list then i'll finally be ready then i'll finally have the skills to make something on my own i also thought that the task of creating an animation that was completely separate from a tutorial was too challenging and i would eventually flop because think about it, you got to use a lot more brain power to create your own original work in comparison to just following a tutorial to a t but i had to realize that's the only way i was going to get better flopping until i get it right <laughs> Yeah, I may have had some hiccups here and there that made me want to smash my computer. But I'm glad I finally took that leap of faith to actually make something on my own that I not only learned a lot from, but something that I had fun with in the process. So if you're kind of going through what I went through in your own art and animation journey right now, try taking a step back from the hardcore studying. Step out of your comfort zone and create something original that you not only learn a lot from, but something that you enjoy doing, something that will satisfy you in the end. Just like I did in this video when I redesigned Cartoon Network characters to practice my drawing skills feel free to check that out and uh yeah i'm out of here